Concessions are very important to members of Temecula Youth Baseball and all the parents that have to work in it. It allows us to provide a lot of different things. Extra baseballs, extra umpires, as well as extra amenities for the kids to play baseball. And it's essential for us to keeping our costs down. We can't do this without your help and support. We're here at Harveston today, but the procedures you're going to see at Harveston are very similar to what you're going to do at North Southfield. It's important that your opening and closing procedures and handling the money and restocking is done every single night and every day that you work in the snack bar. This will cover all the procedures from beginning to end. We also have a new locking system that's used for the locks. These are all coded entries. It's very important that these codes that are given to the managers remain with the managers only and the managers are responsible for opening the snack bar and ensuring that it's closed at the end of the evening. Okay, as you're coming up and you enter to the snack bar, you'll see one of the biggest differences we've implemented over the last year is the use of a lockbox. And the lockbox has a coded entry. It is a timed entry system, so it will only allow you to enter during specific game times. You want to come up? Every manager has his code, should remain with him only, and enter your code. Once the code goes through and it beeps, the door will now unlock. Okay, as you come in, you want to make sure the door remains secure when you're inside here. You're going to have the lights turned on. Here at Harveston, the lights are directly on the right-hand side as you enter. When you go into North-South, you'll see they're on the left-hand side directly as you enter the door. Okay, the next thing you want to do once you come in here, because you will be handling food, is to make sure that you wash your hands before you do anything. So once you've washed and dried your hands, you're ready to get started in the snack bar. Okay, now in both snack bars and opening procedures, the first thing you want to do is come in and find the binder. And this has your opening and closing procedures within it. When you open it up, you'll have information in here which tells you how to open and close. It also has a sign-in sheet. In your sign-in sheet, you find your team name, your time entry, and enter your signature that you're signing in to start your shift. The next thing you want to do is open up your cash box. You'll notice within the cash box there's a list of instructions here on how to handle the cash and how to handle the cash drops. The first thing you want to do once you've opened it up is to make sure that you have $50 in small bills and count them out in your cash box. There are times when there may be less than $50 due to the drop the night before. If that is the case, simply make a note, put it in the box, and do it with a drop at the end of the night. So we're going to go ahead and count out and make sure we have the accurate amount of money. Okay, now that you've confirmed that there's $50 in the cash box, the next thing to do is to turn on all the machines. It's important that the microwave is turned on, that the nacho cheese machine is turned on, and that we have power. Once you're open up for business, within every snack bar is our price list. This is a price list that you'll use to run the snack bar. On the outside of the snack bar, you'll also see that a price list is posted for patrons that want to purchase. At this point in time, you're now open for business and ready to go. Okay, now that you are done with your shift, it is time to transition to the next shift. One of the first things that we need to do is make sure the trash is empty. We provide trash bags at each snack bar that you can utilize. Get a clean trash bag, pull out the trash, put a fresh trash bag in there, and please take the trash out to the trash bin. The trash bins are located at Harveston, out towards the parking lot, and near the handicap spots at the north-south field. The next thing in transitioning to a new shift or closing for the day is to make sure that the refrigerators are fully stocked. There is information on the refrigerators that will explain how to properly stock, and we should have sufficient items within the snack bar. You want to make sure that you open up the refrigerator and leave it fully stocked so that the next day, drinks are cold and we're ready for business. Once you are transitioning to a new shift and you are checking out, it is important to follow the directions on the cash box. This is on the lid as you open it up. You want to leave $50 in small bills in the cash box. Any large bills 
will get placed in one of these envelopes with your signature and information on here and the amount that you are going to drop. Let's go ahead and follow through with these procedures. As I said, you're gonna fill out the envelope completely. Your worker name, in this case I put in my full name, the date, you're gonna put in the time your shift was. You're also gonna put down your team name and division and the amount that you're going to be dropping. You'll take the amount that you're going to be dropping in excess of $50 from the cash box, seal it in your envelope, and place it in the cash box. There's a black cash box at both North Southfield as well as here at Harveston, and there's a little slit here that you will simply slide it into. The procedures at the end of the day are the same for transitioning out the cash box. Make sure you leave $50 in small bills and all the change left in there, and you make your drop at the end of the day into the cash box. Now once everything is turned off, we're basically ready to shut down for the day. The most important thing at both Harvest and Snack Bar as well as North Southfield is that the steel gate gets shut. That is the most important security feature. At North Southfield, you'll notice that there's a swing up wood door on the outside. That should also be shut, but the single most important thing to shut at the end of your shift is this steel gate. This covers our snack bar procedures for Temecula Youth Baseball. While a lot of teams will use student volunteers from our local high schools to assist with their snack bar duties, TYB is going to require that an adult be present to check them in and check them out as well as handle all the cash at the end of the shift. We'll have board members that routinely come by and check each day on the snack bar to make sure the procedures are being followed and answer any questions you may have. Good luck and thank you for supporting Temecula Youth Baseball. Thank <laughs> you.